Hey, what's going on, crew? Good to have you guys back in here. We're back on Susquehanna. We finished up with the harvest. We got another one, one more small little field of, well, sugar beets over here. Look at all the beets. No, we've been real busy with this last harvest. We've got the last little bit here of this field. I want to get this replanted, to be honest with you, soon. Uh, see if we can get another crop off this. But it's all been limed. We've been pl plowed, apparently. We once again left Gertie in charge of the plowing and... um. Well, let's say she didn't quite do an amazing job, which makes me all the much more nervous today because I'm going to need some help from her today as well with, well, this, all of this has got to come off the ground today. I do need some sugar beets. We're going to talk more about that. It, it, we got lots of room for beets and I got lots of stuff to sell off. So um, let's get busy working on this. Let's go grab the bull and uh, we'll get busy taking off some beets, guys. Let's get to work. Pitter batter. <laughs> Back on over to the farm. Now, you guys know we've had some minor issues over on the farm here lately. If you were uh, in one of our last live streams, you guys know we've had um, the minor issue. But you know what? I think we seem to be fixing most of them. Uh, whatever. You know what? It's all good. Things are good. I just really hope that we can get back on here on a regular basis because I'm really enjoying this map still. And I don't want to give it up yet. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the issues resolve themselves. Hopefully we find a way to keep on going with this because... I'd hate to have to do a reset of some sort. So everything seems to be looking pretty good right now. And while we're at it, for those of you just joining us, if it's your first time here, well, welcome in, first of all. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, of course, don't forget to hit that subscription button, and don't forget to slap the like down below if you're enjoying the video. We've got lots of stuff going on today. I can't wait to get into this field. I do like doing sugar beets right now, but Susquehanna has so many options. We've got so many options for our sugar beets. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get in there today. It's, it's going to be... Uh, it could be profitable if... I can get into the sugar beets and get them sold off before anyone else gets up to the sugar mill. Oh, the stuff that's left over here at the trailer park farm. It's a bit of a disaster here right now. Like I said, we got finished harvesting the other day. The lime, uh, the lime spreader is sitting out here as well. Everything is just kind of sitting out and about and in the way. I need to get, well, this auger wagon need to get, needs to get out of the way. Since the beet harvester is right in behind there. So let's get the 1432 out of the way. We'll hook the bull up to that. We'll just pull that trailer over by the fuel truck there i suppose perfect get the beet harvester out now as well and i need to get well that beet trailer that's back there but unfortunately i got my combines are on the way aren't they i don't think i can fit through can we fit through this oh i'll try we'll see if we can fit through otherwise i can yeah we'll see if we can get it out there i don't want to move anything else i'm feeling lazy today this may be a bit of a tight squeeze we're gonna have to take a look here we got the beet harvester outside warming up already let's see if we can just fit through this di this door right here that nice and nice and easy. Bring the bull out. The bull had lots of room, and this isn't that much wider, so it should be all right, I think. Look at that. Just nice and hug hug the door. Ah, perfect. You know what? Looking back there, I didn't think we had room, but ah, we're good. Perfect. Gertie's hanging out behind us now. Got her hooked up. She's going to drive the bull over. Uh, she's going to drive the beet harvester for me at some point here, but I'm just going to go to the setup quickly, and then uh, hopefully we can get these beets off this field, guys. It, once again, we can make a ton of money from selling beets just because we can make the beets into sugar. We have a couple sugar factories that are up in the, in the city, so we'll take those up eventually. But the key is, you've got to be the first one in there. If anyone else is doing sugar beets, and I think we're pretty good right now, if anyone else is doing sugar beets, though, it can kind of mess with us because only one person at a time can really do them. All right, let's see if we can uh, get the headland done here for... I might do one or two just to give her a little bit of space, and then she can kind of dive in here and do whatever she wants. I kind of like doing the first one, though, just... I don't trust her, I guess. Maybe. Maybe that's it. Set ourselves up right at the corner. And away we go. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Now, I think we should be able to get around this field. It's it's not a huge field. It's probably one of my smaller fields, to be honest. Which is kind of one of the reasons we picked sugar beets for this one. I never want to do anything like where we get a million, a million liters of sugar beets because it's just too much. I don't have enough space for that. Ends up being way too much trucking. And then all the other farmers in the county kind of give me grief because they they can't make sugar. Ugh, I know we got you got to share the wealth sometimes, right? You got to be you have to be one of those those types of people, I guess. All right, so twenty five percent already. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to be able to get this headland done. That's always awkward when you don't get the full headland done. That always sucks. But what what do you do? Uh, we'll have to bring the, the tractor. We'll get Gertie come down here, I guess. As long as we don't end up with a drink again. Well, it looks like uh, we managed to get around just barely, maybe. Let's see if I... Oh, just not quite. So close. So, so close. All right, let's just dump this in here. Uh, Gertie must be... Is she in the apple orchard? 
Gertie, where the heck are you? Once again, I'm sitting here doing all the work and she just disappears. I thought she was going to help us out today. I, I don't know. Maybe, I'll go give her a call. But you know what? I was just thinking about this. So our, our current usage on our bead harvester is one and a half hours. That's it. I think this is like the least amount of equipment or usage of any of my equipment so far. I think everything else has got like double the amount of usage of this. At least like most of my stuff's around 30 hours now at least. And we, we've gotten this fairly early. I mean, we, we went into debt fairly heavily to buy this massive beet harvester. I did not want to do this with a small harvester, of course. It's just such a pain. Harvesting beets with a smaller harvester is such a pain. So we kind of went overkill on this to begin with. It has paid for itself, mind you. But not to the same extent as maybe, say, any of our normal case harvesters. Um, this one here has definitely been more of a struggle to, to make the money back. How, just because of the, the time frames, right? I mean, everyone's trying to use the same things at the same time, and it causes problems out in the county. So getting beets, and that's all you're getting off it, yeah, it's been it's been a little bit painful, especially with the amount of money you got to fork over to start with to get this thing. And then especially to see that, well, we've used it the least amount of anything else. And you know what? We haven't even filled this with fuel. I don't think I've filled this up once with fuel. We haven't repaired it yet. This has just been... It's been a nice... Well, paperweight in a sense, and it's so big, like it takes up so much space as well. I'm, I don't know if I regret buying it, but I don't know if I, if I focus so hard on it again next time. I think this might be something we push later on. I don't know. I, do, I don't usually do beats. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Beats are. This was kind of an afterthought. All right, I think that should be good. Gertie should be able to handle this here. I'm gonna go get her loaded up. We'll dump the rest of these beats back into that bin, and uh, we'll let Gertie do her thing here, guys. All right, Gertie looks like she's doing all right. She's got it figured out. I went and brought uh, the truck with our big tandems. These massive tandem West Dump trailers, guys. These things are massive. 100,000 liters per. Let's uh, let's set up the bull. Let's go dump these out right now, and uh, we'll go give Gertie a hand and unload what she's got. But uh, these West Dumps are a lifesaver when it comes to these sugar beets. I mean, they just hold so much. There we go. Dump that in. Oh, look at that. Great. That looks perfect. So that's going to hold a little over half almost of what we already got going on in here. Oh, don't spill out. Don't spill out. We better even this out a little bit. Gertie, what in blue blazes were you just doing there? What is this? Look at this. Uh, I don't know why I trust her with this stuff, guys. I don't know what she was doing. She decided to pull in and pull a little Yui here. Go figure. Pretty sure I saw her trying to post updates on her TikTok. I, yep, I just, just got a new TikTok. Uh, Gertie, please, just, just do your job. It, it's not that much left. It's, it's really only going to take you, like, 20 minutes. Come on, just get through this. Yeah, this is looking pretty full. I'm going to have to go dump these out. Oh, yeah, they're both pretty much full. Let's, um, shut this down. I got a little bit of time. I think we can leave this here. Gertie's going to keep on... Oh, Gertie, please, please don't put it in the drink. Let's go grab this. Let's go move it back, and we'll dump this into our silo. And hopefully, by the time we get back, she hasn't gotten too far yet, because, well, you guys know what's going to happen if she gets ahead of us. She gets bored, and, well, things happen when she gets bored. Uh, the awkward dump into our little silo here. Everything's shut up. I left, I just went and turned it on. I've been leaving the power on this thing constantly, and the flashing light just drives Gertie nuts. So even more reason to do it, right? Let's see if we can get up the hill here and dump this in. This is such an awkward little dump. This silo was never really meant to be a permanent fixture, guys. I kind of just slapped it in here to, to, well, to deal with our beat situation. I still don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, to be honest. I'm still on the fence. It's still kind of in the way. So we may have to move this at some point. I don't know yet. We'll empty it out and move it. At, but for now, at least it can hold a whole bunch of silo. Oh, and there we go. Of course, Gertie's already full. Guys, I keep on telling her that it'd be a lot easier if she just went back and forth now. Instead, she's insisting on going around. She's kind of like a NASCAR driver. She can only go turn one way, I think. I don't know. I don't get it. But whatever. You know what? I'm not complaining. We've gotten away from the water now. So... Why are you missing all the, the beats? Gertie, you're missing the beats again. And so I know some of you are probably asking, what, you were complaining about how much this costs you, Clutch. Why are you harvesting sugar beets? You got to deal with Gertie with that. You got to deal with all this expensive, you, not very versatile equipment. Why are you doing sugar beets? Well, sugar beets out here, they're worth quite a bit. We, can, we have ability to turn our sugar beets into sugar. Number one, that's huge because, well, sugar, the, the sugar beets that turn into sugar is worth a thousand bucks per thousand uh thousand liters so and it's one to one so for every hundred thousand liters of sugar beets well with a little bit of work we can turn that into a hundred thousand bucks so that's quite that's quite profitable and i mean right now we've got probably about four to five hundred thousand liters off this one field 
So that's going to be 500,000 bucks. A little less. It's, gonna, it's probably going to be closer to 400,000, but I digress. Secondly, we also need the sugar beets for our pigs to turn into pig food. So now we don't need a lot of them, mind you. Uh, like a, a field, maybe a quarter of this size would be more than enough for our pig food. But whatever, if we can make extra money from that to turn it into sugar, yeah, by all means, it's worth it. Now, the pig food also is worth an incredible amount. So, I mean, it, it, it's all going back to making a large amount of money out here on Susquehanna. I, I don't know where, where we would stop with it, but I mean, sugar beets are so profitable out here. We definitely have to take advantage of it where we can. It will work out. It's just, it's expensive equipment. It's difficult to work with. And, well, we have to hire Gertie and... Well, oh, man. All right, guys, that's uh, that's going to be a wrap on this. We're done. Oh, another sugar beet harvest in the books. You know what? We've gotten, what, three now? I think three of them in total. So, you know what? Whatever. It's all good. It's good to be done. Let's go with that. Anyways, I'm going to unload all this. Perfect. That takes it in. And uh, you know what? I'm going to take a load right away. So it starts producing sugar right up the sugar, the, the sugar bill. Let's get going. <laughs> Look at all the equipment I got parked out here. I need, to, I need to clean some and repair some equipment, guys. This is ridiculous. Uh, I've got just everything kind of rammed up here right now because <laughs> this is usually where I fix and, well, this is... What am I stuck on? I feel like I'm stuck on something. Oh, that's right. The indestructible fence posts. Ugh, I gotta fix that. Uh, I guess uh, we'll just go around. Yep, best driver in farm sim, really. All right, let's let's uh, let's load whatever we can up here. The back trailer's got quite a bit in it already, but the front, where is it? It's got room. We got about 400,000 liters there off of that last field, so that's, that's gonna go quite a ways. I think one load should be good enough for now, so I'm not ramming up that, uh, that sugar mill too badly. Do too badly, at least. Hope no one else needs to get in there for a little bit. I'm taking it over. All right, I think we're good. We got both trailers fully loaded. Let's get around the pigsty. What is it? Five o'clock already. Let's get this up to the city. Let's go drop this off. Uh, that way, the sooner we can get this off, the sooner we can start making some money from this stuff. Yeah, hopefully overnight, this is going to get done most of this. I don't think it's going to get done 200,000 liters, though. That's quite a bit. Oh, tight squeeze through the gate. Tight squeeze. Come on, Clutch, get this. First try? I never get this gate first try. Like, never. Take her easy. So we've got traffic coming. We've got traffic coming. Uh oh no 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 get through oh yes best driver in farm sim pay no attention to the fuel tank that's good i mean less fuel for the hill climb is better right we have less weight it's all part of the master plan here we're going with low fuel we go low fuel i think we'll be we'll be fine right maybe i go i've gone through a lot of fuel in this truck i'm not gonna lie guys we've gone through a lot of fuel in this thing all right here we go hammer down Hammer down. See if we can hold 50. No, it's going to be like 37, I bet. I think it's, it's always about the same. It's a lot of sugar beets going up over top the bridge. Down to 40. Come on, get up there. Come on. 42, 41. You know what? I don't think I've ever managed to climb it. I wonder if it's true. Less fuel in the tank makes us go faster. Is that possible? That's kind of incredible. If, it, if that's actually true, I have never gone this speed up this hill with both trailers loaded. Huh, maybe my driving skills are actually getting better. American Crystal Sugar Company. All right, let's pull on in. Take her nice and wide. Don't hit the fence. Looks good in the mirror. Come on, baby. Around the corner. A little bit of grass there. That's okay. As long as that gate doesn't close the trailer, we'll, we'll be okay. All right, let's line up for the conveyor belt here. Perfect. All right, it's time to make some sweet, sweet cash from, well, these sugar, sugar beads. Oh, there we go. Finally, finally a use for sugar beads for me. Let's unload. Just made a quick phone call around to see prices. Our current best price for sugar beets is 143 bucks per thousand liters. Best price for sugar, 1,363. It's almost a thousand dollars more per thousand liters. Uh, we're gonna get by taking this and selling it off as sugar. And it's the same amount. It's the exact same amount. Only we're gonna get a thousand dollars more per hundred per thousand liters. So that load right here, we just dropped off. If we were able to sell that right this moment, which unfortunately we can't, but that'd be 260,000 bucks just for that right there. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait a bit. Now, fortunately, while we wait, well, we'll wait for our, our sugar beets to be made into sugar. We've got some other things we can go take care of. Well, if you've been following along, we've dropped a bunch of corn off here at this production facility. This is all of ethanol, as well as, I keep on calling it corn soda. Corn, it's not corn soda clutch. Yeah, corn syrup, not corn soda. 
So we got our fuel and we've got corn syrup, which we can, which we get built into uh, from our corn. Oh, hey, buddy, what, what's happening? So we'll come back and sell some of the corn syrup as well. Like I said, we brought up, I believe, about 100,000 liters of corn into each boat. So one for 100,000 liters in for the ethanol, 100,000 liters in for the corn syrup. So we've got both that are being made right now. I've got enough to make for a little while. It doesn't make it quite as fast as, as I was hoping, to be honest. Uh, it takes a couple of days for this stuff to, to make enough to go sell off. But I got 65,000 liters of diesel right now. We go sell this off to one of the fuel stations that has the best price. There's a fuel station like right here, actually, up in this this area, right in the, in the same kind of quadrant. But the best price right now is over at uh, downtown, actually. So we're going to head back into the city with this, sell this off, make a little bit of cash and probably call it a day there because you know what? It's, it's, it's eating time. I think it's eating time. We need some food. I know you don't see too many uh, man trucks over in Susquehanna, but you know what? We had to bring this thing specially in just to, to handle the corn syrup. That corn syrup is its kind of a specialty product. Wouldn't load with most other things. So anyways, we had to bring the man in and it just happened to have a tank on it. So, you know, a bit of a special order for us. Now, as we pull in here, I should really think about taking the diesel and leaving it on my farm instead of having to buy it every time. We go through quite a bit thanks to that, well, that one harvester I've got, that one case harvester. It's just got such a small, it's got just a little tiny little tank, so I should maybe consider that, but uh, maybe it's just easier to fill up a fuel truck every once in a while and, and do that. I don't know, because it's, it's nice to have this, be able to ship things around in. I don't know yet. I haven't decided exactly how far I want to go with that. I think for now, I'm just going to sell that off and we'll call it a day, make a little bit of extra cash, right? I mean, this should be about 65,000 bucks. Actually, scratch that. It'll be a little bit less than that. The diesel doesn't go for quite the same as corn syrup. Eh, it's still. I'll take what I can get. It Once again, money's money. There we go. Perfect. I like it. Well, well, that's unloading out. Maybe I'll get a little bit of Subway for lunch. I think it's, well, dinner, I guess. I'll get some Subway for dinner. Not the best supper, I suppose, but... Ah, uh, you know what? There's no pubs around here, so what are you going to do? Anyways, I'm going to grab some Subway. I think we'll call it a night there, folks. Maybe tomorrow we'll uh, see if we can get back to making some more cash by seeing what we get from flour, and, or not flour, but the sugar. We'll see what we get from that. Hopefully it's a lot better payday than this, but you know what? This still isn't bad. Money's money. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, slap the like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. See you, folks.